act. It's the way you act, bitch. It's the way you act. I am not fucking doing that. Do you know? Bitch, no money in the world can make me want to fuck you. And let's get into it. Big girl. Big girl. Big girl. Uh -huh. So I want to make this a quick ass intro. It's motherfuckers in this world, and I'm back again with another da 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 story time. So I want to make I want to make the biggest disclaimer. The string of stories that is going to come from this year is from the House of Weirdos. That's where I met the weirdest bitches, the weirdest niggas. I went through the most weirdest situations, and you're gonna see that in the string of story times because I'm gonna keep on replaying and relating to the House of Weirdos in order to keep me protected because everybody knows. Well, these bitches, I don't, I don't think they could really sue a motherfucker, but I don't want anything to affect me in my real life. So we're just going to relay and say the house of weirdos and allegedly this happened, okay? Bitch, I, I don't even want to be like, oh, everybody's going to watch this and they're going to see. Like, no, I'm just saying it because it's like, we all got to protect our assets. <laughs> with that being said like comment and subscribe just to remind you videos out once a week either wednesday or friday please keep a eye out for the videos watch and subscribe we're gonna hit 100k by the end of the year with that being said let's get into it started working at the house of weirdos and the house of weirdos it was cool it was a vibe i was new there i was still filling it out mind you weird shit was already happening the first week of me being there and i don't even want to get into that because that's already tea but it's not like a story time type shit tea but i was there and i was kind of like vibing and then a new round of people came to the house of weirdos okay and we're just gonna call that okay a new round of people came to the house of weirdos and I remember I was just starting feeling comfortable talking to the people working there and getting like in the groove of working there at the House of Weirdos. And they always had this thing where it's like, come and introduce yourself to the new people who just started working here. So me being the person that I am and wanting to get ahead of the game so that I could be like, bitch, I'm new here too. Let's fuck with each other. Let's all talk. Let's be friends. Let's get our Instagrams. Let's be close. Um, I went up to this group and I remember it had to be four or five people that were in there. Do not quote me. But I introduced myself and then we're going to call him Nobu. And you're going to know why by the end of the fucking story. It, it's not even that big. But then I see Mr. Nobu. Mr. Nobu was a black man. And already seeing a black person in the house of weirdos is already slim to none there's like 10 11 of us and then there's like 135 of them you know what i mean so i was already like okay i see you mr nobu you know like we doing we doing the niggulation shit like we you know you, you a nigga in here we both niggas you know what i mean so once i seen him I was introducing myself to the table and then I walked off. You know, I did my little two, two motherfucking I'm Mia, did a little bit of a joke on the hoes and then walked off because that's what pretty bitches do, period. I, I think the same day I went back to the table because I had to talk to somebody who was there, the leader of the new people who were coming in. So I go over there and I'm talking to them and like I make a joke and I remember at the time I was like these nuts and, and I don't know why the fuck I always thought this was funny but that's where my mind was I was only 20 years old my bitch yes I am childish because I thought these nuts were funny not not the moral of a story so I'm like my name is D and then he's like oh okay miss d ha 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 i'm like these motherfucking nuts and your only conversation me and this man had mr nobu so after that conversation it was kind of like okay i'll see you around we we know who we know we know you cool you cool people done with it seeing him hi bye like we cool but then a couple like a week or two or three went by when now they're on the floor in the house of weirdos so now we're having to work next to each other and i just remember like us having little cordial conversations and then him being like oh what do you like to do and it it, it didn't feel like it went from like oh you're cool people ha 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 
to now you're asking me questions of what I like to do outside of work. And at that point, I was like, you're being weird and you're asking these weird questions about like me, like what I like to do outside of work, all, all these things. So I'm already like, oh shit, I'm a peeping you. I'm peeping that you're being weird and you're older than me. You're my mother's age. So a couple weeks keep going by. He keeps asking me, what do I like? What do I like to do? And finally he was like, we should go get lunch together. And I remember the first time that he asked me this, I was like, oh yeah, we should all go get lunch together. And he was like, no, like me and you, like we should go get lunch together and, together and get to know each other. So at the point I'm like, oh shit, maybe this is just an old man who really wants to have fun and just doesn't have a lot of friends and family and all of those things. So I'm like, oh yeah, sure. I'll have lunch with you. Like we're friends, we're cool. We can have lunch together. I gave him my number before that because he asked me about my music and he said like, what type of music do you make? And I was like, I make rap music. He's like, oh, I really want to hear it. So then I sent it to him and I'll even put in screenshots right there. And that was a conversation, but then he asked me to lunch and then then I was like texting and then that's when we started texting about going to lunch together. So I'm like, oh shit, he said that he'll pay. Let me go to the motherfucking most expensive place to go. So then he, he chose because I was like Korean barbecue, but then he was like, have you ever ate at this? Like, I think it's like a four star, five star. I don't know what, what it is, but it's an Arizona place. Fuck, I forgot the place of it. I will pop it up right here once I remember, once I remember what the food place was. But it's a really good restaurant that's super expensive and I've only been there one time with one of my friends. Um, and I make a TikTok video that goes semi-viral. In my mind, this is semi-viral because it got a thousand likes. So I'm going out to lunch right now. Look at this fucking dress. This is not for lunch. This is if I have a man and I'm trying to make him eat me diabolical and so like i can't wear this <laughs> this right here so much more better it, it, it gives off the vibes of just lunch <laughs> that i don't know what the fuck i was gonna do with that dress i don't know there's a lot of views on it so then i'm in the video saying in their face like i'm i'm in the video saying this i don't want to wear this dress because this is a dress that you fucking this is a dress I want to get fucked in and then sucked off the bone. This is not a dress you wear to a meeting to go out with friends. So I changed my outfit. Obviously, you can see right there that I'm telling you, I'm telling the community that my idea of going out to lunch with him was not, oh, I'm about to go and talk to this older man. It was like, oh, I'm about to go make some friends with this older man that I work with at the House of Weirdos, <clears throat> right? So then I'm over there, I'm traveling, I go, I get there, and he like show, pops up, obviously, and we go in the restaurant. And the vibes already feel weird because I'm gonna pull out your chair and then I'm gonna call you pretty and like say you look good. And at this point, I'm like starting to catch on where it's like, you keep doing weird shit. Now I'm like, you're being weird as fuck. <clears throat> what do you want from me? So we're having conversation and he starts to go deeper into his life. Allegedly, he was just telling me how he went through a divorce, how he was like over her, how like she did him wrong and how like, just telling me a lot of personal things of his life. Mind you, at this point, I wasn't saying shit to him. I wasn't telling him about my life, about my body count, about, about anything, the shit that you would tell people or tell a friend because it's like, your your intentions with me aren't pure. You know what I mean? So then he's just going in about his life. And at this point, I'm just listening to him. And he's kind of like just telling me about like how he's got a second job at the House of Weirdos, how he doesn't really have a lot of things to do. Uh, just very personal things he was sharing with me, which you obviously don't have a lot to do because you're supposed to be tired because you're an older man. What? So then the conversation keeps going and he goes, I just want to let you know that this is a date. A date? And then he goes, I like you and I'm interested in you want to be with you. What? Hey? 
I change the topic immediately. I go, oh, thank you. But like, what were you saying? And he's like, no, I'm being serious. Like, I really do like you and I want to get to know you. And at this point, I'm just like, that's just weird to me. No, like, no, I'm young as fuck. But in my mind at the time, obviously this isn't childish. This was just something that I'm like, oh shit, let me run game. Because it's like, what was Southern Girl saying? She said, been running game like an old bitch. <laughs> because immediately when this nigga said, I like you, I said, ah, oh, cha-ching. Because what would you, what would you need from me? I'm 20 years old, can't fucking drink, can't do anything, barely know how I like my steak. What do you want from me? Like, what can my 20-year-old, like my 20-year-old ass do for you? nothing and that's what young girls don't get these older men they they just want you because you're young and you're easy to mold so then i said cha-ching so i'm sitting in there and i'm just like keep on talking to him and we're having this conversation and i remember i leave the fucking we leave the restaurant and at this point i'm not telling anybody that i went out with him i'm not telling anybody about anything i'm oh my gosh i need to say this he told my friend, mind you, he was my guy friend, that we were talking to each other. I asked, I was like, like months later, I was like opening up to my friend about all the things that was happening to me this year. And I was like, oh yeah, and da da da, da I, he used to try to fuck with me. And he was like, oh yeah, I knew about that. He just told me not to tell nobody. What? But yeah, I'm kind of just keeping it to myself, but then also like, Oh, I'm going to take a step back from you because it's weird. It's weird. No matter how many times I had to say it. So I'm taking steps back from him and I'm kind of like not ignoring him at work, but then also kind of ignoring him at work at the house of weirdos. And finally he's like, Oh, do you want to go to the movies? And at this point it was November, 2022. Oh my God. Almost two years ago. Well, yeah, almost, no, almost two years ago. Almost two years ago, like it's about to be November, a year and a half ago. And he was like, do you wanna go see Black Panther? And at the time I was like, oh shit, I'm still about to run game on you since you keep on asking and offering to do these things for me, I'm going to make you do them. So he's texting me. I even have text conversations about buying our tickets, going out to the movies. And I'm just like, okay, cool. Like we're gonna go to the movies. In my mind, I'm still like, okay, I just, I don't want it to be with him, but then I also don't want to lead him astray. But then also I'm not doing anything. I'm not wearing like loose, like not loose clothes. I'm not wearing like super um, tight clothes where it's like, oh, I'm I want him to look at me. I'm not holding his hand or touching on him. I'm not doing none of that. So I don't know where he got in his fucking stupid ass mind that I wanted to you know what that was going to happen so we're texting he's telling me everything he's like sending me movie tickets and at this point i'm just like yeah i'll go with you because he keeps asking so i drive up to the movie theaters i'm late as fuck so i'm like pick me up some pickles and some popcorn and he's like okay i'll get that for you when you pull up so i pulled up i drive in and i park the farthest i can so he can't walk me to my car so i'm walking up and he sees me he comes to get me and now he's like trying to hold my like trying to like hold my hand but then like not doing it but then also like trying to be super close on me like we're on a date like a real life date like this nigga's like this is me like this nigga's like trying to like touch me and like i never gave off the impression that i wanted to touch you or i wanted to do any of those things so we purchase he purchases the pickles and the popcorn for me and then gets me a drink he buys me a, a fucking souvenir cup thank you period so we get into the movies and he's still being weird sitting like trying to touch on me and when we sit down i'm watching the movie and he's just like progressively keeps asking me like saying asking me things or talking to me in my ear while i'm watching it and at this point i'm a very big motherfucking movie lover bitch you're talking through the whole thing shut the fuck up like that's how i was like 
but I also was getting irritated and agitated because like you keep on walking close to me, touching shoulders, trying to like be weird. You know what I mean? So I'm eating, I open the pickles and this nigga, yo, when I say this man took my hand, mind you, this is the pickle. I, he takes my hand and tries to make me feed him the fucking pickle. Say, what? He takes, takes my, oh, feed me the pickle. What? Irritated, I'm about to go off on this man, but I'm just like, I'm, a, I'm, I'm obviously can't overpower him, but I'm going to try to, you know, fuck him up. I'm about to fuck him up. Agitated, I'm fucking irritated. So then I'm eating the popcorn and again, he goes, feed me. A 40 year old fucking man goes, feed me. Feed me the popcorn, feed me. Oh, I never wanted to get up and run. This to be weird, it didn't go that far, but it, for this to be weird, and then like the touching me and making me feed him, and then like just all of that would just trigger something out of me where it was like, oh shit, I wanna run, but then I, I don't know what I could do, right? So now I'm sitting like this, right? I'm, I'm my legs are almost inside, I'm irritated. This man, is gonna put his hand on my fucking thigh and start touching me. At that point, I was just done. I was done with the night. I was annoyed. I wanted to go home. I Bam, boom. We ended up leaving the movie theaters. And after the movies, we went to go eat some food. And when we went to go eat some food, I kind of just started distancing myself. This was in November. I just, just started distancing myself, stopped talking to him at work. Every time he talked to me, it was just, it was up from there. It was just like, just get away from me. You're weird. I don't want any of that energy around me because it just has been weird. So then I remember the last time that we were texting at that point was because at the house of weirdos, um, I gave I gave him something, but I didn't tell him that it was getting, somebody was about to give him something. And he texted me, he was asking, what did you give that to me? And the crazy thing was, is that I was texting three numbers at the same time that didn't have like a fucking, um, a name. So I was texting people and I was thinking I was texting the other one, but I was actually texting him. So after that point, there was just a little exchange high and by with six, seven, eight months went with no four or five months went with us not talking period. So finally, he doesn't work at the House of Weirdos anymore. And because he doesn't work at the House of Weirdos anymore, I was like, finally, I'm fucking free from the shackles of that weird ass man. So all of a sudden I get a following one day on Instagram and I'm like, I know this is him because he showed me his Instagram page and how he just likes to be private. So I'm like, okay, will you, if there's no bad blood with you, I'll follow you back. So what did I do? I followed him back and for months, he was swiping up on my pictures, hard eyes, you're so pretty, just complimenting me over and over again. I was, I was like, oh, thank you, I appreciate it from time to time until my birthday. So my birthday starts coming up and I'm posting everything for my birthday that I was turning 21. Damn. And he's like, I wanna take you to lunch for your birthday. So I'm like, okay, like that seems like a cool, calm thing. Like he could take me to lunch, he's gonna pay for it. I'll just, I just wanna go eat. So at this point, I'm like, bitch, you keep on asking, you keep on asking, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna ask you to take me to the most expensive motherfucking restaurant. So I say, you could take me to Nobu. I'm on fucking red. When I asked him to take me to Nobu, he left me on red. So at that point, I'm like, okay, cool. And we go to brunch. And at brunch, I am drunk as fuck because my birthday was just the day before. I'm hung over. Like, I'm trying to, like, act like I care what he's... Like, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I really do. And I'm just drunk out of my fucking mind because I was just drinking all day the day before. Um, actually, I think this was on the 3rd or the 4th or the 5th. It was one of those. Bitch, that time was a very scary time for me. So... 
again, I like you, I wanna be with you, just like I wanna do all these things. And I'm just like, okay, cool. We leave lunch that day. There's, there wasn't really anything big about the lunch. It was just like lunch and then he took me to my car and I got out and I went home. Oh my gosh, and I also forgot to add that I fucking forgot, which is so crucial to the story. He came into my job, the house of weirdos with his kids. I think he was with his kids. And he was like, oh, hey. And then he went and got his stuff. And then I immediately left because I was like, what the fuck? Why is he here for? And then he texted my phone and he's like, oh, I was here. I wanted to say hi to you, but you left. What? So then we planned to go out again because he felt like, oh, shit, I wasn't able to take you out somewhere good. So like we could go out again in a couple more weeks. So what happens, we start planning to go out again. And I'm just like, okay, cool. I'll go to dinner with you. After this, I think I have to cut him off because it's becoming a really weird, sticky situation where like he's starting to become progressively like, I'm buying you these dinners and these dates. Like, bitch, you gonna come out these pants energy. And he calls me just to ask like, hey, are we still on for the day? Are we still on for the dinner? Like, what are we doing? And I'm like, yes. And then he kind of just like, okay, what are you doing today? How are you? And we just start talking and he's just telling me like, I'm going to Japan. I'm going to Germany. Like, I want to take you everywhere. Like, I want you to travel with me. I want you to go around the world with me. I know you haven't been these places. I'm going to Vegas. I know that, mind you, we have. Oh, mind you, we had a conversation about Vegas and he was telling me that he wants to take me to Vegas and so that we could do all these fun things. And I'm just like, okay, yeah, like I'm feeding into it, but I'm obviously like, bitch, I'm not going to go with you. So then he's like, when we go to Vegas, like I want to take you around. I want to take you all these different places. I want to do all these things with you. And I'm just sitting on the phone and I'm just like, this man does not understand that I do not want to be with him and he just doesn't get it. He doesn't get it in his fucking head that I don't want to be with him. So then I'm just sitting there. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, that's cool. Like that would be fun. And then I get off the phone and I'm like feeling weary about going out to dinner with him because it's like, Zania, I don't need to go with him. I don't need to go with him. But I'm also like, I already said that I was going to go. I don't back out of anything. But this time, he's like, I want to drive. I want to pick you up and take you. I want to pick you up from your house and take you to dinner. So then I'm like, okay, cool. So what do I do? I make him pick me up from my apartments that were beside me. And at this point, I'm just like, he can't know where I live because he's weird. So he comes to pick me up. Mind you, like I'm in the car and I'm just like, oh my God, I'm dreading every fucking second. We pull up to the the steakhouse and we go into the steakhouse. And then he was like, oh, like, have you ever been here? I'm like, no, I also haven't been to Nobu. And he's like, oh, I, I was there like a, a month or two ago. Like, I didn't want to go there again. Uh, uh, we could go in a couple more weeks or we could go later. I'm just like, bitch, I said I wanted to go to Nobu. You have me sitting here uh, fucking talking. I don't want to talk to you, bitch. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to go to Germany with you. I don't want to go to Japan with you. You're just, you're just wasting my time at this point. You're not even giving me food that I want, bitch. So then we get to the steakhouse and the server's like such a beautiful couple. And again, he's pressing up on me, trying to hold my hand. It's just like, bitch, please. So then we sit down and we're eating. And then the conversation is just like, I want to be with you again. I want to be with you. I want to travel the world with you. I want to do all these things. I want to help you build credit. Just like, oh my gosh, yes. He said that he wanted to put me on his credit card so that he could build my credit. And I was like, I would not want you to do that for me. What the fuck? So then we're sitting at the restaurant and there really wasn't anything big. But again, like him telling me that he liked me at this point, I'm just like, yeah, no, I can't be with you. I don't want to be with you. I'm done. So we get back in the car and I leave and I immediately I'm like, I need to stop this because this, this is gonna I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm done with him. He drops me off. I go home and I'm just sleeping on it. He texts me good morning. And then again, I'm just like, yeah, I just need to cut him off. I don't like, yeah, I think I'm just gonna cut him off. I don't want to keep on leading him astray. So what happens? I block him. My friend, she's posting on her Instagram one day. It was a Saturday. Mind you, I blocked him on all of my social medias, everything. I was done with him. I wasn't going to do it anymore. 
or my friend's posting me and Zamiya at the shop. She's posting me. She even went live. And a lot of the stuff that was on there was me. You know what I mean? And I just blocked him on everything. So then on her page, she's just saying that me and Zania are going to be here till four type shit. So then I'm just like, okay, I'm done. I haven't told my friend about this situation. I'm just here helping her with the event. So my friends, well, not my friends anymore. Two people come into the shop while my friend are doing their uh, quick motherfucking plug, Australia, go fuck with her jewelry, please. But while me and my friends, <laughs> while my friend is doing these people's jewelry, all I see is, oh, a nigga, Mr. Nobu, walks through the door with his work shirt on. I'm like, my heart sunk to my ass. Because there was no way that he knew I was there. There's no way. How did he know I was there? At this point, I didn't know that he followed my friend's backup, my friend's business page. So I'm like, what? How the fuck is he here? So then I'm like, he's like, hi, everybody. Hi, how y'all doing? And he sits down in the chair. And they're like, oh, that's cool. Like, I haven't seen you in a while. Because we all work at the House of Weirdos. Well, he used to work there. We currently work there. And then he fucking goes, oh, the then my friend's like, oh, are you here to buy some jewelry? No, I'm not here to buy some jewelry. I just want to kick it with the homies. Huh? If I wasn't there or if none of us were there, my friend's a 4'11", short Hispanic girl. What? Kick it with her? And no, like, really think about it. Because there's no way that a Nick, somebody could talk themselves out of that. And we weren't all there. Why would he be there? It's because, and then he walks in and he's like, oh, I was rushing from work. I wanted to hang out before you guys, before you closed that floor. So he rushed from work so that he could make it, didn't get any jewelry and just wanted to hang out. So then my I text my friend, I'll even put up the message. I'm like, hey, like I'm uncomfortable. Like I, I don't want him here. So then officially my friend's like, okay, y'all, like that we gotta wrap this up. Like, thank you for coming. I'm closing shop early. And he's like looking back at me like for affirmation of like, like, are you going to come so I could talk to you? But then I don't. And he walks out and I'm just like, that was the most weirdest situation I've ever been in. For one, there's no way that he could talk himself out of that on how all of a sudden you're trying to support the homies, but you're not there to buy anything. Just sit around two women, two young women and hang out like you can't convince me that you didn't have no like you're in your mind wasn't pre-existing of like trying to rope me in and be like why aren't you caught answering my calls because you're a weirdo and with that being said that's how I almost got wrapped in with a fucking sugar daddy stalker I seen him one time after that and that was only because he um he came into the house of weirdos so that he could buy something but with that being said, I love you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully that you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.